Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be moving a bit forward towards advanced level and discuss more about world authentication policies, more related to security stuff. Uh, so basically how access is controlled in world or uh, what specific action can be allowed to be performed on a specific path or an endpoint, right? So th these are all things we will be discussing. Uh, I also created one more video which was more related to uh, fundamentals and uh, I did all sort of things to make vault up and running on my local machine so if you want to refer that you can also do that uh, so let's start um, okay so uh, i mean talking about the policies vault is a deny first right so everything is denied so if you want to allow something you have to explicitly allow that okay so uh, let me run my vault server and so here i will be creating some policies one is like admin policies we should be having um, more access and some one policy related to dev which will be having some restricted policies and then i will be using these policies and see how what all we can perform and what all are restricted right so let me create policy called admin.hcl And to create that, I have to do with path. My path will be secret data. Let's put everything under test. So this policy is applied to everything under this path. So here will be like capabilities. and i have to provide what all i want so i want it on create because this is admin so i want it on all read delete update and list right so this means any secret under this path will have all sort of access right using this token uh, i mean using uh think where this policy is applied let me also create one more policy let me copy that and make it as dev.hcl and open this so here i want to keep the same path but let me restrict the access i don't want to give delete and update okay so i am ready with the configuration let's start creating the policies so i can create like vault right says policy and let me name it as admin policy and policy as my file name so it will be like admin or yep but because it's a file so i have to put at the rate admin SEL, it's like policy oh i don't need this okay my policy is ready i need to do the same for dev Okay, so I can list the policies what I have list and sys policies. So I have admin policy, I have dev policy. Root and default are are uh, you know they're already there. So it, it comes when the dev server uh, is ready, right? It's come automatically. But these two policies are what we created just now. So okay, our policy is ready, and now let's let's create a token. So it would be vault token create policy as uh, let's start with dev first. So this is my token, newly created token. I can log in using this token. So to log in that I can just do vault 
login and provide the token so i am inside uh, the shell using this token which has dev policy so which says i cannot uh, there are some restrictions so let me create some secret which is like vault kv but let me create secret or let me just create a secret outside uh, creates right and uh, key equals to value so if i do that i get permission denied because i'm only allowed to do all things under test folder so let me correct that and i do test creates key value i'm able to do that can i read this let me try i can read the value can i update this let me try to update with value one i cannot and what if, if i try to delete this I cannot because I am not allowed to do that. I can only create, read, and list. Perfect. So let's go back with the root and log in with admin policies. So to, to go with root, let me do vault login. And I have root credentials, which I can use. This is root token. And I'm in root now. And let me create new token with admin policy. So here I can just def attach admin policy with this. So I have new token. And let me log in with this token now. Vault login using this token. This has, you see, admin policy. So default is something it's attached to every, every uh, token you get access, right? It's more related to the internal stuff Vault is doing. Okay, so now if I try to fetch the value which was created earlier, yep, I can get the value, but what if, if I try to update the value? And I can, because now I have the permission to, what if, if I want to delete this value? And I can, right? So because admin has all sort of access, it has access to delete, has access to update, right? So this is this is how you can define policies with several token. So let me move back to root. So here you can define different tokens for each thing for like different applications or using it via API and restrict that accordingly, right? Uh, but you know having too much of tokens is as you don't know because you cannot use this for user authentication right um, for user authentication you can do something like because you can vault can be integrated with any third-party tools like ldap github and other things right so you can do user authentication with that but let's use user pass here and attach these policies and see how we can do that so for that the very first thing you have to enable user pass so that we can do it by world auth enable user pass it's enabled we can check that okay and now let's try to create a new user so i can do it by world write auth user pass users let me name the user as rohit and password i can provide from here or from variable ways other ways as well but no issues it's just for testing so i can provide password directly and policies i can attach policy admin.hcl so my user is created. Let's say if I want to list how many users I have, I can just do it vault list. And for now I have only one user that is Rohit. So how I can log in from this user, I have to do it vault login, but now I have to provide 
method equals to user pass and user name equals to Rohit. It's asking for password. My password is password only. And now I can log in with that user and it has the same admin policies, right? And depending on the policies, I can do the activity. So that's pretty much about uh, the authentication. I can let me go back to my root. Okay, so deleting the user, right? So deleting the user will not terminate the token, right? You have to explicitly revoke the token. So to do that, I have to do vault token, revoke and token. So this way you can revoke it and then you can delete the user. So if you delete the user and your token is not revoked, you can still authenticate using token directly, right? So it's better to revoke it as well. Delete auth user pass user Rohit. Now, if I want to list the users, I don't see, I don't see anything, right? Okay, and talking about the APIs, let's say uh, if I want to uh, get stuff from the API, let's say if I want to check the policies, what all policies I have, uh, I can just run it curl hyphen H X world token. And obviously I have to pass my token. I can take my root token and it should be get my world server address which is http localhost port as 8200 and api will be v1 sys policy and now i can list the policy using api as well right so that's that's pretty all thank you and bye bye